Fiber is the hypercapacity future of our connection to the internet. There are already thousands of precious fiber miles installed across the country, but there's a limited amount of it, which means there's a cap on how much we can use to connect our gaming, streaming, and chatting. Well, not anymore. To avoid retrenching and installing more fiber, use of this optical spectrum has to be efficient. Our challenge at Cable Labs was clear. How can we make the fiber we already have more efficient? In today's coherent communication systems, two fibers are typically used for two-way communication. The same color of laser light, or wavelength, is used to carry data in each direction. Because the same color of light is used on each fiber, there is only one laser needed. But if we wanted to use the same fiber for bi-directional data travel, we need two lasers, which would get costly quickly. We needed a more efficient and cost-effective solution. This is why our newest innovation was born. It's called Direction Division Multiplexing. How does it work? Imagine a road where there were no lanes, and more importantly, no collisions between cars going in opposite directions. They could literally travel through each other. Direction Division Multiplexing transmits using the same wavelength over the same fiber in two different directions at the same time. I know, this is a pretty damn cool future. To do it, we leverage an optical circulator in a unique configuration. Much like a traffic roundabout for cars, an optical circulator takes incoming unidirectional light and forwards it onto a common fiber. It acts as the crossing guard, directing traffic through the circle as it takes light received from the common fiber to send it to a new direction. In this way, the different directions of light are separated. On the same fiber, we can use the same wavelength and double the amount of data carried by that wavelength. The end result? A single capacity fiber that used to carry 50 terabits can now carry 100 terabits. By using only a single laser, we have reduced the cost of hardware, decreased the power consumption, and we have made adopting this technology much easier. With 100 terabits per second over a single fiber, there are endless possibilities for what our fiber networks can achieve. So where should we go to next?